and welcome, or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny, and this is my awesome dad, George. Guys, we're doing Mexican today, authentic Mexican. Dad has a torta in front of him. I'll show you really quick what he's got. Dad's got a torta here. We'll explain all that here in a minute. But what really brought me to do Mexican today was I have been wanting to try an authentic gordita. I got two of them in my box here. Which ones do I got? I got a barbacoa gordita and a chicharron gordita. I'll give you a glimpse. Glimpse right here real quick. And I got mangoes with chamoy and tahini, guys. I had to try it. So, uh, man, over a year ago, I went and did a review of this place. It's called the Los La Super Torta. I'm going to put the name of it up here. It was super delicious and I had to come back to it because I wanted to try their gorditas and I wanted to try their, their mangoes. So this is the time to try that. Now dad's got a torta. It's a barbacoa torta. So barbacoa is shredded beef. Okay. But before we get on to doing the eating and all that, I want to say a couple thank yous. Okay. Somebody sent me this awesome hat. I'm going to take it off so you can see it a little closer. It says the Buckeye State on it. Ohio, the Buckeye State. It's tie-dyed. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I got a mystery. I want to thank whoever sent this to me, okay? I think it came by Amazon or some other delivery service, and it didn't have a name on it. It had like an email, but the email was like letters and numbers. I couldn't make any heads or tails out of it, okay? So let me know if you sent this to me. One of our Penny Pinterest crew let me know. Okay, and also Kim and Alicia sent me a, a super cute uh, gnome doormat. Um, I, if I can, I'm going to stick a picture of that up here too so you guys can see it. They sent that to us. They're our, part of our Penny Pinchers family here crew. So girls, thank you so much for that doormat. It is super cute and I love it. So thank you. Whoever sent me the hat, I'll, I'll find out so I can thank you personally. And thank you girls for the doormat. Kim and Alicia sent that. Okay, so let's get dad started here. I know he's starving, okay? So let's look at his torta really quick. So there's two halves to the sandwich, dad, and I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's got avocado on it, lettuce. What else has it got on it? Um, shredded beef. I don't even know what else is on here. I'm not tearing it apart for dad, okay? But I'm going to try to reposition this so I can hand it to him. It's going to take two hands, daddy. Two hands. And I got some sauce if you want to try some sauce. Oh, it's, it's like floppy. So can you move the hand up to that spot? Okay. He started, guys. He started on it. But you got your tray there, Dad. If it falls, it falls. It'll go right on your little, your little thing. Um, there's some sauces, too. I don't know how to work that, um, but... We'll start, and I guess we'll try some sauces here in a minute, okay? I got some gorditas. I thought I could hold these up. Man, these look really good, guys. I wish I could show it. Oh, prices. I did want to say prices, too. Here's my gorditas, guys. It's hot underneath, so I'm going to set this down for a second, and I'm going to find us some napkins, which I do have. But I wanted to say some prices for sure. wanted to say some prices so you saw how big dad's torta was right so this is what's hard guys when I have this table here I can't I can't see underneath all this I'm gonna move this over I feel like this is in my way we're gonna score this guys we're gonna rate this we're gonna tell you what we like or don't like about it okay so dad's uh, barbacoa torta was $11, guys. I think that's a very great price. You can definitely share it with somebody. It's a big sandwich. Um, each one of my barbacoa, or each one of my gorditas are $3.50 a piece, and I got two of them. So six, $7 for the pair. You can get them one at a time, right? Single file, but one is barbacoa, one's chicharron. And mango. The mango with chamoy and uh, tahini on it. They're charging $4.75 for that. I love these prices, guys. I love these prices. I even gave them a tip. I gave them a tip because I've been here before and I, my first experience was super great, so I'm hoping this one is too. I think it will be. I'm 
trying to figure out which one is Chicharron. Okay, this I think is Chicharron. Yeah. I wish I could show you more of this, guys, but it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> I can't even be in the video. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna do it right here, but this is gonna be a mess. This is crazy. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. Mm. Oh boy. Dad, you want to try a little bit of, um, we got some red sauce and some green sauce. You want me to dribble a little bit of sauce on your sandwich there on top? You can have a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Let's see, let's try it. This is red sauce. I think it's a little spicy, so I'm only going to go like just like a little dribble if I can. Yeah, it's right there in front, like, yeah, right there. I guess I'm gonna put the sauce over here. I don't know where else to put it. Man, guys, these, these uh, gordita wraps, it's like a corn tortilla. It is super messy. It's super messy. I ain't gonna lie. Half my stuff's falling out. It's got Kohiku cheese on it. This chicharron is, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, I hate to say it, it's kind of like a fatty pieces of pork. It's chicharron, it's pork skin. I like it better than I thought I would. Let's just put it that way. That's really good. What do you think about that hot sauce, Dan? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I say to it. Okay. I gotta try with this beef one. This is a mess, guys. <laughs> this is a total mess. This is the barbecue one. Sorry, you guys couldn't see me. <laughs> mm. oh, my hand. Oh. My hands are a mess. I'm so glad I tried gorditas. The gorditas, they're really, really good. I'm sure the beef is great. Your teacher rooms are great. Well, since I got this open, let's try some of this green sauce. See if you can taste this one a little better. This is probably a little tangier. It probably doesn't got like, it might have a little heat to it. It's probably just a little tangier. I put it right there in front, like, like straight on there. Yeah, you got it. I want to try a little sauce too, but I don't know how I can do it. I guess I'll put it on this corner here. Try to take a bite off in this corner. I try to take a bite while you guys see me taking a bite. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm gonna, this is all gonna fall off. Okay. I'm super messy. I'm super good. It's got a little heat to it, a little tang to it. It's mild. Red sauce is medium. Definitely medium, hotter than medium. Red sauce is pretty spicy. But it's good. I, I got stuff on my... Ooh, yeah, that red sauce is spicy. I'll help, Dan. I'll, I'll help. 
Oh, that red sauce is spicy. <laughs> Ooh, that's spicy. The green sauce is up my alley. The red sauce is just way too hot. And we'll put the lid on that. Oh, wait. That's hot. Okay, guys, I'm going to talk about my gorditas here. <laughs> Once I get my face back in the camera. Oh, oh, man. I thought I was going to drop that down. I ate about a half of each. Maybe not quite half. Okay. Um, the chicharrones I like better than I thought I would. It is a little bit fattier. It's it's a it's the it's the pig skin. It's the pork skin. It's got a little bit of meat on it, but they stew them up so good that it's like you're not really chewing into like fat. You're chewing into like I don't know how to explain it. They're super good. I I think I like the barbacoa just a little bit better. But either one is delicious. These things are great. I'm giving them a score all together, right? I've never had um, gorditas before. And I'm glad I tried it from this place. I am glad I tried it from this place. And their prices are great. I'm going to give my gorditas at least a 9 out of 10. It might even be higher. It's just I can't... I don't have nothing to like relate it to, right? You know what I mean? Like... I've never had an authentic gordita before, so 9 out of 10, that's a good score. It tastes very, very good. I will definitely eat more later, but I want to try some of my mangoes with my chamoy and uh, tea on them. That's probably going to be some spice, too. Plus, i got to get a drink. That red sauce is a little heat in my mouth. <laughs> move this up here. I think what I'm going to do is take this all down because this is just too much in front of me. It's just, I can't. I can't, I can't. Oh, man. It's like, where do you go with everything? You know what? I got a whole lot of napkins here on my hand. Okay. Let's see if I can not hit that. Oh, put that back there. Get that on my way. Let's put this in here. That ain't a whole half of or torta. This thing is super full, so we're not gonna be able to get much more of that in there. Let me get a drink real quick, Dad, and I'll get you a drink, okay? You had a drink after that red sauce. That red sauce is spicy. Dad is trusty seven up. I feel like I got that stuff all I do. I got it. <laughs> I got sour cream. So on that torta there was like lettuce. There was uh man, lettuce, uh, sour cream, um shoot, Kohika cheese. I think one had avocado. I think they had avocado on. Yeah, they had avocado on. Those are really good, man. Man. Okay. Gotta ask Dad about his stuff. I hope I don't get anything on my hat. I just touched my hat and my hands are... You want a wet nap, Dad? I feel like... I feel like you're struggling over there. I don't know if it's... No, it's not. No. You want a wet? No, it's not really wet. Yeah, you want one just to get the no. rest? No. Okay, here goes. Okay. Well, I'm not good. I feel like I still got stuff on my hands. I feel napkin. The <laughs> napkin. Okay, so you're done for right now, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on here and just close this up that way. It don't. Nothing goes anywhere. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to leave it there. We're going to talk about what you had, okay? Okay, that torta. $11 for that thing, guys. $11. It had shredded beef on it. How does it taste to you, Deb? It's a lot of beef. Yeah, they put a lot. A lot of beef on it. Uh, it chews up. Yeah. Chews up a real... A little bulky. Oh. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, like when you start chewing it. Okay, so I don't think it's super tough or anything because no, I have. No, I, have I don't think it's. I think it's cooked. Yeah, 
I, I think it's just the, the amount that's on there just seems like it's kind of hard to chew sometimes right. or whatever. But it's not it's not tough. I had barbacoa on my sandwich too. I think just the thickness. The he likes hot fish was pretty on. good. You like the seasoning, yeah. And uh, that hot sauce was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty and spicy. The, 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 the no. chili no. is better. The green stuff is better. Yeah, the green stuff is not as spicy. It's not as spicy. Um, would you get that? Would you've liked tortas in the past? I mean, would you get this again if I wanted to come here? Would you get this again? Or? No, I would not. I would not try to, try to eat this. The way I condition I'm in. You ate it. I know. And you didn't. I, I know. You didn't make a mess. You you did a pretty good job. I made more of a mess than you did. I feel like I'm wearing. I know I am. I'm wearing half my stuff. I I mean, but as far as flavor, let's go with flavor. I mean, you, did you like the flavor of it? Yeah, it's, it was okay. good. It was good. It was good. Okay. Uh, the the beef and uh, the, everything was cool. You kind of like that bread, the bread that they use. I don't even know what kind of bread no. they use. No, uh, that it, it's it's another one of those uh, deals where the, the I don't know. I, I can't explain it. Okay. I think what you're struggling with is being blind and trying to navigate the sandwich. It's just a little, it's hard right, for you. Right, right. But it, what you're saying is the flavor of everything was good, right? Right, okay. right, exactly. Okay, so exactly let's, okay, right. let's, let's score this torta on flavor. Now, I'm not saying about your struggles. We know you have struggles and everybody knows it. And you know, but let's let's say on on flavor alone, what score would you give that sandwich out of ten? Okay, I'm gonna give it to you the best I can. Right. The best I can. Yeah. The 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 flavor is the sandwich was pretty good. Okay. It was really good. It, it yeah, was uh, yeah. it was good. I, I wish I was able to eat it. I know. Eat it and enjoy it. We understand. Enjoy it like people do. We understand. You you ate it, Daddy. You did a good job. You did a better job than most people would. Trust me. I had it all over the place. I had mine all over the place. So what score out of 10 on flavor would you give it? 8.5. 8.5 out of 10? Right. I think it's a good score, guys. I really do. That, that It's a good score for Dad. For He's not into, you know, this kind of stuff. I'm more into it. This is more my thing. Guys, I'm going to try these mangoes. I've been wanting to try these. The last time I did this, like a year ago, I did this place, La, La Super Torta, and I saw people getting these mangoes, and I, I didn't even know what they were for sure, but I found out what they are. They're mangoes with chamoy and tahini on them. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. The mango's a little, it's not mushy. It's a little, got some stiffness to it, but let's try this. Okay. Okay. I wish the mango was a little more ripe, okay? It's a little no. uh, green. No, Sharon will eat mangoes. Mm -hmm. And she had a hell of a heck of a time finding right between the uh, Mango. mangoes. Because uh, the uh, scent of the green. Mm -hmm. mm. They ship them green or greenish. But I understand the love of this. Hold on, I'll tell you a minute. But she could, uh, every once in a while, she could find the uh, right ones and mm. she would uh, buy them. Awesome things to say. Oh, you heard Dad mention Sharon. That's his um, his wife. He passed away. She passed away. Um, 
So yeah, Sharon used to love eating mangoes and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah it's yeah. hard to it is hard to find ripe ones. You have to like buy them at the store and like bring them home and let them like You're right ripen like bananas kind she, of. She sits and uh, sit and uh, wait on uh, wait on wait on to ripen up. Right. Okay, guys, I understand the 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 awesomeness of this. Hold on, uh, she liked the taste of the, yeah. the taste of. Well, these mangoes have like a sauce on them, Dad. They put. He can't see, of course, guys. Okay, so they put a sauce on here called chamoy. It's kind of like a sweet, savory, little spicy. And also, I had tahini put on this. Tahini's got like a lemon zesty flavor, like a citrus flavor. I understand the love of this. It, you got the mango taste. I wish the mangoes mangoes were a little more ripe. Okay, but still. <gasps> <laughs> I got it on me. You know, you, I got it on me. You might as well eat it and enjoy it. I got it on me. It's all my arm. It's all my pretty pink tie dye. Mm. These are so good. She used to, uh, uh, don't, don't, uh, they didn't have the, uh, the flavoring on it. Yeah, she just bought the, yeah. She used to she buy, just the, buy the whole uh, mango mangoes, at the store. Mangoes, uh, the, the big, yeah, big yeah. green. Green is ready. Yeah. I got all of them. Those are really good. Oh my goodness. I like that chamoy flavoring. I'm going to have to get some chamoy and tea and put that on stuff at, house, at the house. Oh my goodness, it's good. Mm. I feel like it'd be good on pineapple. Mmm, that stuff's good. We could just do it. <laughs> we just cook beef like that. It would be well done. And the beef food uh, had the flavor to it um, from cooking. Yeah. Um. Those mangoes with the chamoy and tahini on them, guys, those are good. I would get them again. Um, I just wish they were a little more ripe, but they're really good. I'm glad I tried them. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. They're good. I'm still going to eat them. I'm still going to enjoy them. I just wish the mango was a little more ripe. You heard the crunching of the mango, right? It was a little more <laughs> stiff and not as ripe as I would like it to be, but super good. So, guys, let me know who sent me this hat. Help me solve the mystery. Let me know who I can thank personally for this hat. It's beautiful. I love it. It's going to go with my pink tie-dye. It's going to go with my purple tie-dye. Oh, and it's, I can't touch it right now because, but it's got one of those ponytail holes where you can put your ponytail through it or whatever. It's got that, and it it's cool. For some reason, I got my heat on my seat again. I do not know why. What? My heat. My butt's starting to get warm. Oh. <laughs> so anyway... Let me know who sent this to me, guys. And thanks again, Kim and Alicia, for sending me that uh, doormat. It is so cute, a gnome doormat. It is so, so cute. Thank you so much. And that's it. That's it. Ready to let these guys go, Dan? Yes. Just ready to let, these, let you guys go, okay? So, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.